What is up, guys? Wow, lots and lots of crypto news this week. I just can't ignore it. I can't. I can't. I have to talk about it. Here we have a new Senate bill which would make Bitcoin legal tender in Arizona. Make it currency. Make it a store of value. It is a bill that was just introduced by Senator Wendy Rogers. Uh, she introduced a new Senate bill which would make Bitcoin legal tender across the Grand Canyon State. Awesome, man. Stuff is happening. We got the old Biden administration there going out talking about coming up with ways with regulating Bitcoin. And now we got some more positive news. Not that regulation is great, but more positive news that uh, the state of Arizona is considering making it legal tender. This is really good for adoption and getting normies on board. And uh, who knows what's going to happen next. It may be the first domino to fall where other cities, states come out and say, hey, these guys are trendsetters. These guys have something going on here. El Salvador is doing it. Let's look at this. Arizona, they're doing it. I want my state to do that. So I bet if Arizona does it, Texas will do it and Florida will do it. Those are the most productive states, it seems like. All right, let's look at this real quick. Oh, what do we got? Let's go. New, new Senate bill would make Bitcoin legal tender in Arizona. Cryptocurrency use possibly coming soon. Possibly coming soon. I love it. So we have Tucson. Senator Wendy Rogers has introduced a new Senate bill, which would make Bitcoin legal tender. We saw that. So here is the SB. Is that State Bill 1127? I'm guessing. I'm not a politician or a legal person. But remember, everyone thinks you have to be like a lawyer and have to be a politician or go into government uh, to represent people. No, you just have to represent the will of your constituents. It's not that hard. Everyone should run for office that you feel you want to make a difference. You don't have to be a lawyer or a trained politician. Those are probably the worst people. You want average Joe who knows what it's like to pay taxes and knows how the how the value of crypto is. You want people like that. Anyway, that's off my uh, off my soapbox. All right. The bill defines cryptocurrency as let's see. Uh, any form of digital currency in which encryption techniques are used to regulate generation of units. Anyway, it goes through, it goes through, and it does mention right here they're operating independently of a central bank. Central bank has been the problem throughout history. We want to get rid of that, and that's scaring some of these old timers. You know what I mean? Some of the legacy guys out there, they don't like crypto. They don't like decentralized. They want to they wrangle this in there, and that may be part of the uh, Biden thing with the regulation. I don't know. When they lose control of the money, they're going to lose their power. So you got to wonder about that. All right. Central bank, it's, it's independent of that. It's including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. I'm so glad they mentioned Litecoin. I don't know what the deal is with Litecoin, if it's going to be, be around or not. I own lots of it. I hope it just goes up. Please. All right. Oh, then even if I cryptocurrency issue means an issue of any form of cryptocurrency, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Hash. If this bill passes, it would take effect from and after Saturday, December 31st. And I think this state, I have to look, I think they're voting for a new governor this year. And I think the way the winds have ch are blowing, the old school kind of wishy-washy ones are going to be gone. And I think they're going to get a real person in there that knows how to run a state and uh, it, it runs it for the people, right? Not for the interest. And that's just from hearing stuff around and reading some articles. So hopefully they get a new governor in there. And then you got this Senator lady here who's pushing the bill. And there may be some really awesome positive stuff coming out of Arizona related to cryptocurrency. Yeah. They're saying state agencies payments, cryptocurrency could allow state agencies to accept cryptocurrency as a payment method of fines, civil and other penalties, rent, rates, taxes, fees, charges, revenue, financial obligation, and special assessments due to the state. Oh, I love that special assessment stuff. Yeah. Yeah, they get you they get you coming, they get you going, man. Oh boy. Alright, so there you go. Looking good. People are waking up. Bitcoin is, I think, here to stay. There's been some pros and con uh, information this week and I just think the US may be the trendsetter and adopter of going full bore with Bitcoin uh, yeah 
and I hope it hope it looks good yet for miners as well. All right, what do you guys think? That's a good sign. I'm glad they're they're uh, introducing this stuff. But who knows? I don't know what the makeup in the state is. I don't know what the political ideologies are for or against it. I don't know. Again, whose interests will be served best, right? Again, it's not what's best for the people in these uh, government bodies. It's really what's best for their, uh, what do you call it? Their overlords, their influencers, their lobbyists, right? All right, that's all I got. Interesting news. Thought you would throw that out there. So, fear not. If this state adopts it, boy, that's going to be awesome. Prepare for the ride. Woo! All right, I'm out. Blammo!